What's up, HC Nation? Hey, Zach Edwards here for another Tutorial Tuesday. Now, this was supposed to come out yesterday, but my, my um, program that records all these did something really haywire. Every time I started it, it let me go one minute in and boom, shut off. I'm like, wait a second. So this is the fifth time, but I guess fifth time's a charm, right? No, I think it's third time, fourth time, fifth time. I don't know. Hopefully it works this time. So I'm going to be doing this uh, really big day of uh, answering questions. And I say that because we just hired on an executive secretary. Her name is Mel, but Mel doesn't know much about the game. So all the ins and outs, I have to be able to produce. So every time she has a question, she doesn't know how to answer a question that's online. She sends them over here and I'll answer them here. That way she'll take the information and send them to you via email. Okay, so now that that's all the uh, understandings done, let's get into this in today's answers. Okay, coming down here, the first one is right here. It says, German Italian Troop Offensive by Caleb. Interrupt. When played, if an opponent attacks you with an army card, the army card on its own for one attack. Uh, let's see. If an opponent attacks you with an army card, the army turns on its owner for one turn, okay? So you're turning on your owner. There are two ways I can see this going. I personally believe that the army performs an attack on the land it is from. Yes, that is actually turns on the owner. But my friend mentioned that it could be, could just defend the land being attacked. So let's think, well, before we get into the rest of it, let's, let's say this. So say the Apaches attack um, are attacking uh, from Scotland to the UK or to Europe to England. So they're coming into England, and England actually has the German Italian troop offensive. They send them back. Now here's the thing. Here's the optimal word in this question. The army turns on its opponents on in, on its owner. It does not say it, it attacks its owner, but when a person wants to say, okay, it attacks its owner. Yeah. You could say in defense, it attacks the owner. So you add the defense of all your cards and the attack of your, um, well, no, I guess it would be defense of the, from the Apaches, the Apaches are going, are turning on their opponent it means they're defending that land and attacking back at the at the owner. I don't know if this is actually making sense. Let's make it easier. Count up the defense of all the people in the land being attacked. Sorry, the defense, yeah, defense. And the defense of the Apache army. And that's what's actually being, um, the numbers counted up for the defense against England, or against, let's see, I said Scotland. So if Apaches are coming down from Scotland, they're turning on Scotland. So combine it defense against Scotland. So what do you think about that? The rest of the question is, I referenced the Apache tribal warriors and Mongolian army to try to come to a conclusion. Apache says automatically win the first battle against an opponent. Whereas Mongolian says win the first attack on an opponent. This beats any other car, uh, card ability based upon the, uh, that wording. I believe the German Italian troop offensive performs an additional attack. Here's the thing. Um, ooh, now it's asking if it has an additional attack on top of it. Well, actually, no. I mean, it would be turning on the opponents. I think we're thinking too much into this. If the abilities of, let's say, the uh, Mongolians win the first attack on any opponent, and this beats other, any other card's ability, then the Mongolian army would win that first attack. So it says for um, it, it turns on the owner for one attack. So for that one attack, they win the first battle, the Mongolian army. So if the Mongolian army is attacking England. They're turned on it. England wins against Scotland because the Mongolian wins the first battle. So you can count up the points with the German Italian troop offensive, or you can use the ability if it's going to say like you automatically win. 
That way you'd be able to win that battle using the German At Italian troop offensive. You can win by numbers. You can also win by the fact that their abilities say they win. But it's only for one turn, uh, one attack. The next attack, they're going to whip your butt. Just so you know. Anyways, that's for that question. Okay, moving on. We have Cuba is powerful when it falls. How is that? Okay, as you know the, the history of Cuba, you'll understand. It becomes more militarily strengthened when it fell, though it was, didn't fall a good way. Um, but because the United States, we believe in being our country and not dictating the whole world, we didn't just go in and totally destroy Castro, which... Yeah, somewhat could have been thought of as a good thing, but we're not a, colon a colonial country. We were colonized, and then we kicked the, the British out. We did not take over other countries. So we've gone in and helped other countries, but we did not want to colonize as Americans because we've been under the same oppression. Okay, that's the reason why I put that title there. Um, this question says, the Republic of Cuba uh, card says, Every time this land is conquered, increase its strength by 500 points. Does this mean that if someone takes the land from you and you take it back, its strength is now 1,000 points, as in uh, times taken times 500 extra strength? Uh, let's see. It says it increases its strength by 500. It does not say it multiplies its strength by 500. So, wait, wait, wait. But it says every time this land is conquered, increase your strength by 500. So every time, yeah. So it would be this equation. It would be every time it's taken times 500 equals the extra strength that Cuba has. So if it keeps going back and forth 10 times, you have 5,000 points there. Wow, that's quite the land because no other land has strength. So just letting you know, at the same time, if you have like no one in there defending it, you don't automatically get 5,000 points because there has to be someone in there to defend it to make it an attack. There is no such thing as an attack on an empty land. You basically walk in, you grab it for your, your own. Okay, so I hope that answers this question. Okay, so this question is actually four different ones. For some reason, Mel had put just this one. So we're gonna, investigate these ones down here. Number two says, uh, invention of radar reads, each of your lands currently in play again, uh, gain 500 defense. Perfect, so every one of your lands gets 500 defense. All opponents lose 100 morale for every, oh sorry, for every, I hope that's not written on there like that. Let's just find out, because it says every each. No, no, okay, for, for each plane, astronaut, or pilot in play. So this part is a constant right here. Morale, if you have a card that's a morale, that's talking about morale, it's only a one-time thing, unless the card says otherwise. But So this is part morale, so that would be a one-time thing. So this constant, whoop, I'm going to put my face over here, that C and constant is for that each part. Defense is usually always a constant. Morale is almost always a one-time thing. Okay. So question number two. Oh, yeah, let's keep going. All opponents lose 100 morale for each turn. Okay. Yep. So is the second part applied every turn? Nope. Just one. Okay. So it should actually read like once that and then constant the other one. I'll take a look at it when next time we print it. Okay. I don't have... Madam CJ Walker in front of me right now, but her abilities is similar. It reads along the lines of gain 100 morale for every black woman in play as long as Madam CJ Walker is in play. Does that mean every turn I gain 100 morale for black women in play or only when a new black woman is played? Okay, so again, I need to put a constant and once in front of these so that you know when they are. This one is actually a constant because it's meant to be, the whole thing is meant to be, because there's only one ability. Um, the other one, the reason why it's confusing is there's two parts of the, the ability. So one's a constant, one's a once. 
it should say constant once like a lot of cards say that one was missing it so this one though for every black woman played in the game we don't have a, a plethora of black women in the game we have um spies we have uh cj walker and i think two other black women in the game so it's basically whenever it's played that's why it was made a constant and infinite um so you have, yes you increase your morale by 100 points because this one actually says this is actually stated in the abilities why it's constant and infinite uh for every black woman played in the game until walker is discarded now if that wording wasn't there it would be a so is this a once or a all the time no this is until cj walker is discarded so that's why it's a constant and infinite because there's not that many black women in this game yet as of yet there are a ton of black men a uh, ton of other um, a very diverse set of people but when it comes to black women there's not as much and there really should be so that's just stated okay um number four i have some ideas brewing for cyoc that's the create your own card contest that's where we can win 500 dollars for entering the best card chosen by the public um and that starts september 1st till december 1st so keep it on your calendars I have some gr some ideas brewing for CYOC. Would you be willing to make sure I am on the right track with my thoughts thought process? Yeah, I'd be willing to to give you some guidance. I cannot help you when it comes to giving entries and things like that because I'm a judge. That would not be good. But if you want to ask questions to see if you're on the right process, yes, that's perfect. Please do. Okay, I think we have one more, maybe two more. Okay. The pneumatic tire says choose gain 500 morale or double the effects of either Henry Ford or the combustible engine, internal combustible combustion engine. Henry Ford's card says the moving assembly line increases your product productivity. You may play four cards per turn while Ford is in play. Now, this card was in hopes of creating a card that would allow for eight cards, up to eight cards to be played. Um, right now, that card does not exist. So in the next print that we come up with, we're actually going to create a card that says that, so that Henry Ford, if played with an internal combustion engine, can have eight cards. And you may play all eight cards, if you like, that one turn. So that's pretty darn powerful, because there's going to be a a stink load of morale or conquering or such. So that's a great one. Now coming into the industry, hmm, internal combustion engine. There we go. And the ICE's card says the internal combustion engine increases your morale, more mobility. You may attack three times per turn for the next two rounds. What is my cat doing back there? Look at her. Hey, cat. Tiger, Tiger. Oh, she's watching a squirrel outside. I'd be watching a squirrel if I was a cat too. Anyways, I had just had a squirrel moment. Look at that. Uh, okay, going back, the internal combustion engine increases your mobility. You may attack three times per turn for the next two turns. So you may attack up to six times per turn for the next two rounds. Great, huh? Wow, six times. That's a whole lot more than the two that you're usually available. So it's almost like an Alamo. And this is for two times. So that's even better. Okay, if we double uh, Ford's abilities, I assume we get to play eight cards this turn, even though the highest you ha can have in your hand is five or six, if another card again uh, gives you the ability. But, what about the ICE? Does doubling its abilities mean I get to attack six times per turn for the next two turns? Three turns per turn for the next four turns? Or six times per turn for the next four turns? So it's the first one. Six turns for the next two turns. Six times for the next two turns. Also, is Ching Shi's uh, ability a hold in case no one else sent it? 
this was the result of a match between room six and room seven on Thursday. Lucas, Joseph, Titus, and Josiah. What are your thoughts? Okay, Ching Shi. Let's see. I'm gonna pull her card out. I have these on. Wow, I'm about to have everything fall off my desk. Ching Shi. Right there. Okay. She's one of the rare cards. So this one says, if any pi pirate, explorer, or outlaw card um, cards are played, she steals them and puts them into play. The land in which she is in play can attack other lands that are separated by water. So there's two different abilities there. So this question is, is her ability a hold? It says, if any pirate, explorer, or outlaw cards are played, she steals them and puts them into play. So, what do you guys think? Should it be that uh, she should be a hold? Maybe she should be a constant. Ooh, that would be awesome. Um, this was actually a discussion between it, and we came up with a, um, a ruling. So the ruling is that we're going to have, if any pirate, explorer, or outlaw cards are played, she steals them and puts them into play. It's a turn, because it's an instant and one time. So this ability is only good for the next round. Sorry, the next round. So anyone that's played of these kind of cards is a round. One round. So better make it good. You know what we need to do? We may need to make a card that's an interrupt that allows any other card to be an interrupt. Okay, really cool. Actually, if you think of, if you guys put that in the CYOC, I could see that one taking off and being a big winner. So if you use, it says interrupt, play any other card in your hand as if it was an interrupt. Boom, that's gold. Check it out. Okay. Let's see if we have any more. Uh, let's see. I would say four attacks per turn. Okay, nope. I got we got that already. Um, so this one. Oh, there is one more. And then I've got to go help set up a bed for my daughter. <laughs> she came back in. Yes, I have my kids in this. Um, hi. Okay, it says six day war counts. Does the six day war increase your the morale? of the opponent that you are attacking if you win. Does the six day war decrease the morale of your opponent that you are attacking if you win? Yes. So if you win an attack, their morale decreases. I mean, that is the rules. So let's see. This is the card. It says interrupt. One of your lands gains 3000 strength, then fights all of your opponent's lands in the same continent. Remember, it has to be in the same continent. It cannot be all the lands. Infinite attacks. So this is basically like an Alamo, except now it can be two different or three different lands as long as it's, um, as long as they're in the same continent. If you win, gain 400 morale and your opponent hands over those lands. Dang, that's powerful. Check out the Six Day War. It was a pretty powerful war. It only lasted six days. And it was against like three different countries. Okay, so let's go back through this. One of your lands gains 300 strength. No question there. Then fights all of your opponent's lands in the same continent. No question there. If you have two different lands, that's two different times. If you win, means if you want to attack, gain 400 morale. Oh, I guess that's if you win all your attacks. You don't gain 400 morale per time. You gain 400 morale if you win all your attacks. If you win, gain 400 morale, and your opponent hands over those lands. So I guess all you have to do is attack once, attack once, and attack once, and you get all those lands. Whichever one lands are in the same continent. Now, if you attack and lose, you lose everything. You lose the 400 morale and you don't get that land. So, but if you attack the next one and you win once, you get that land. Dang, that is a powerful card. But watch out because vengeance is 
bad, and they will be, there will be vengeance. So, I hope you like this uh, video. This is a tutorial Tuesday. We do this every Tuesday, or we try to. Um, and it has to do with cards, rules, and everything about the game. So, send in your questions to historicalconquest at gmail.com or general at historicalconquest.com. Either way, we will get your questions answered and put them up here so everyone else can play a part as well. Uh, let's see what Steve Brown says. He says, I don't see why not, at least according to the rules. This makes the Six Day War card extremely powerful, though. Yes, but remember, it is one continent, and it is each time you attack. And if you don't attack, you lose the 400 points morale. So watch out for that. Watch out before you attack. Do not get out of your seats. Do not try to look up and count your opponent's strength and defense. Not It's against the rules. But if you seek from your own sitting position, that's totally fine. Totally fine. So catch us tomorrow on another tutorial Tuesday. And we'll catch you soon. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye. Now, how do I get out of this video? There it is. Ooh, we're coming over here. Whoa, 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 I'm getting a little sick. <gasps> okay, goodbye.